All right, well, B.R. Cohn, we've been drinking these guys' wines for a long time. Bruce Cohn, the old manager for the Doobie Brothers, and, uh, you know, they have a lot of concerts out there, you know, really uh, fun winery, and some great wines through the years. These wines from Sonoma may not get the respect that the wines from Napa do or the price, but uh, still, you know, a little more forward, a little more drinkable, and uh, really nice uh, wines at B.R. Cohn. And most of them priced reasonably. I hadn't had them for a little bit, but the 2009 Sonoma Shard, maybe a little simple. Green apple, lemon citrus, some tangerine uh, orange blossom notes, kind of a little odd uh, bouquet there. Uh, very fruity and forward. And a fresh and fruity style on the palate, too. Pretty simple, as I mentioned before. Uh, you know, the Chardonnay from San Giacomo, definitely a little step up from there. Uh, this wine had a more refined bouquet of vanilla bean, creme caramel, some lovely lemon drop candy fruit there. Nice complexity, some mineral notes on the nose as well. And uh, nicely concentrated on the palate here. Good hand of acidity, keeping things fresh to the finish, but maybe a bit tightly wound for the moment. I don't know if I'm sold on this 2009 vintage for Chardonnay yet. So uh, the Pinot Noir, and a hint of cola, allspice, uh, sun-dried cherry fruit. Uh, kind of an appealing bouquet there, uh, but a bit bitter and hard-edged on the finish there. Um, you know, not really crazy about the Pinot, especially at $40 a bottle. Um, seemed to be a little out of balance on the finish. The Silver Label Cabernet, got a really hint of, this is from the North Coast, a hint of peppery spice there, dark cherry and plum fruit, showing some sweet herbs there, kind of odd uh, bouquet on this one also a little bit, uh, a bit of green and herbal to the finish, not enough cherry and plum fruit to carry it through, uh, not a bad wine, but, you know, $19.25. we got a lot of choices in the store. Drink better than this wine here. Okay, next up, the Merlot, something that they're really well known for at B.R. Cohn. Uh, this wine had some lovely dark plum and cherry fruit on the nose, some fresh herbs, uh, some fresh earth also, uh, some nice complexity there, some lovely jammy plum fruit on the tongue. One of the things I love about Merlot, that lovely fruit in the front of your palate, and then uh, some nice structure on the back. A pretty drinkable style of Merlot, though. A hint of dark cocoa on the finish. Uh, pretty good stuff there, thirty-three seventy-five. And then the Sir Cab, a Saran Cabernet Sauvignon, something that's becoming very popular to do today, blend these two varietals together. This wine had a touch of that black pepper spice and uh, to that plum and currant berry fruit. Good amount of uh, spice tobacco and dark cocoa there also. Uh, nice and plump and fruity on the tongue. A lovely round tannins. Uh, still good freshness. A very good bottle of uh, Sir Cab, and then uh, the Olive Hill Estate. This is, you know, to me, always the best wine in the lineup. We don't have the Beer Cone Special Selection today. But uh, sweet tobacco spice, lovely fresh plowed earth, currant and cassis berry fruit, uh, lovely toasty oak nuance to that uh, little bit of black peppery spice there, too, and uh, uh, lovely big and chewy fruit on the tongue here. You know, these Sonoma cabs tend to be a little more forward, but this wine's got some nice structure. You could definitely keep this 07 for a few years in your cellar, showing a bit of dryness on the finish. But uh, a lot of fruit there to match. An excellent bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. And that is what I had to drink yesterday, folks. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.